Pastor David, what is your personal story of salvation? I was actually born in Whittier in 1950, and I was raised in, uh, in Norwalk. And um, being the, uh, the son of uh, a Mexican-American mother and father, uh, I was raised in the uh, Roman Catholic Church. And so from the earliest days I can remember, uh, my church introduction and affiliation was Catholicism. So I was baptized when I was a few months old. I went to uh, catechism classes when I was about seven years. I received my first communion at around eight, my confirmation when I was 13. And so that's my background religiously. But the problem is, is that never really uh, fulfilled my spiritual needs. I basically had a religion, but no real sense of who God was in a personal level. And so at the age of around 15, I began to experiment with uh, alcohol, which led to some basic drugs like marijuana, which led to some other things like whites and reds. And then that moved into hallucinogenics like magic mushroom and, and LSD and THC and things of that nature. And so I began to experiment very slowly with alcohol and with, uh, with drugs when I turned around 15. The reason that that occurred, I believe, is simply because of the emptiness that was inside my heart. The religion that I had followed as a little boy didn't really complete me as a young man. And so I gave up on God and gave up on religion. When I was around 19 or so, I had a relationship with a young lady and it didn't end well. And I felt bad about it. And I realized that there was something wrong with me that I didn't know how to love, I didn't know how to receive or give it. And so I became open to, to the gospel. And so a friend of mine invited me to a small church in Costa Mesa called Calvary Chapel. And when I was around 19, maybe close to 20, I went to a Calvary Chapel in Costa Mesa and heard a Bible study that began to help me to, to put the pieces together. They gave an invitation to come to faith in Christ that day, but I didn't receive the Lord. But it did plant a seed in my heart that about two or three months later came to uh, produce some fruit because when I was 20 years old in December of 1970, I was invited to go to a uh, Jesus, kind of a Jesus concert. And there, I heard the gospel, and that's how I got saved.